hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how i make and install this human hair full lock extension from the scratch this extension can be colored brushed through and 100 percent tension free when installed if you fuck with this type of content please make sure you watch to the end of this video for the installation part and yes make sure you enjoy the rest of the video so these are the materials used for this video the synthetic kinky brush mousse and human hair itself so to make my crochet extensions i always use a thread line that i attach to the both sides of my cutting then when i'm done i remove all the extensions package the hair and get it delivered to my client so to make this crochet extension i don't go straight with using the human hair directly i first of all start by wrapping kinky around each other as you can see in the video i put a kinky on the line first then i carry another one and go over it and start wrapping over it so first of all make sure that you are not wrapping this kinky extension too tight because the whole point of these dreadlocks is for it to be as flexible and tension free so for this look i made a total of 70 locks because i didn't want it to be too bulky neither did i want it to be too scanty so i felt like that 70 was okay uh, and it was also sufficient because of the materials i had on ground um this human hair kinky there's not much that is said around it on youtube so everything was experimental so that is why i'm like i didn't go out of my way to get new things so this is me now attaching the human hair water wave to the tip so most people use deep wave but all, what i had was water wave so i decided to use it so you can attach one but i was just doing it randomly for some i attach like about four strands of the water wave others i attach three one it depends on how full you want it to be so then i get my old deep wave I think this is about like 10 12 inches i brush through it because this is what i'm going to use to wrap around the synthetic crochet that we just made now so when wrapping around it you make sure you wrap as loosely as possible so this is me using a weave, um, a weft so a weave so i have to cut the weft off and pull out the shorter part of it so if you're opportune to have human hair crochet then i would say you can use it but since all i have is weave i cut off the weft i separated i said i think for each lock i used about maybe five to six um um weave that had already separated so when doing this please wrap as loosely as possible no nail glue or glue of any sort was used in this process most people use nail glue to secure their full lock but i've just realized that i don't really like it so what i do is that when i'm done i wrap it around my hands and i use mousse to set the ends so the point of this deep deep wave deep wave was all i had and i prefer the deep wave pattern than using the water wave to wrap around it so you can just experiment with what you have and what to give you the best look so wrapping around with this human hair part of um wrapping around with the human hair for the locks is a major part because that is what gives it this frizzly really really natural look and when i compared a side by side of just the synthetic and the human hair ends with the one i wrapped the human hair around it the one i wrapped the human hair around it gave me the look i was going for more so all together so what i learned from trying out this style is that it is very very durable like it is going to last you two months three months you can color it to give it certain highlights poppy like it is not a style for every kind of client but if you really really like it it is going to be a very very beautiful addition to your hair closet i rate it 100 out of 100 10 out of 10 five stars i really enjoyed this style because i wanted to try it for myself first before launching it into the collection for my clients it is a two-day job the crochet is going to be done first then when the client comes it will just be the crochet part that will be done on their head it just takes three hours to four hours maximum depending on the volume you want to go for so now this is me about to add the coily one slowly so i just put it on my hand like as if i was borrowing it then i wrap over it then i bend the top and i wrap over it again if the video was too fast and i didn't quite get there you can always slow down the video in your settings and watch it again 
but this video generally was not difficult this hair was not difficult to make and it was not difficult to maintain either it was 100 percent tension free from the first 24 hours the first five hours really i was already packing it in a bun so So if you notice, some of the, the locks do not look alike. You can see closely that some of the locks look a little crinkled, one is straight, some look like they are bending in like three, four places. So that is just, so don't overly stress yourself. That is 100% natural. Each lock is going to look unique and different. And that is what gives you the more natural look when it is installed on your client's head. Like, so don't overly stress yourself on oh, getting them to look 100% uniform and stuff. I believe that when it looks that 100% uniform is when it has that machine-made look, which is like counterproductive of what we are trying to do. So just make sure you, lap, you, you wrap, there's a balance. It is not too tight when it becomes stiff and it's not too loose that it starts unraveling. So that is basically my tip for um, this full locks thing So now for the installation of the hair. So because I'm installing it with partly human with human hair locks, I didn't want to use the normal synthetic kinky book so that the difference between the crochet part and the locks itself will not be too much. So I got Darlene Passion Twist. So any spring twisty, passion twisty exp extension will be good because that's soft enough and genuinely that's what I had at home. And I told you that I was just trying to make do with what I had. So you prepared, I already prepared my braids to 70 because I had exactly 70 locks. Then as you can see, I have a video on how I go in depth on how I do this knotless installation that makes the knot look flat flat literally no knots like like the locks coming out of your head at this point so once i'm done wrapping i wrap the two the i make sure that i wrap between the braids and the locks itself so that there will be a chain then i roll it between my fingers so as you can see you pass it through the knots then you wrap 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 So after extensively feeling myself, <laughs> I realized that I wanted it to get a more island girl, Jamaican vibes kind of thing. So I just decided to come in and ins um, like crochet more water wave pieces that I just had laying around. So just randomly at any point, just do that. So what I love most about this style is that because the fact that it's human hair, even when it gets rough and I sleep in it, all I just have to do is come bring gel. And like roll it around and it will get that shiny look again so you can just do this to get a more natural look or if you feel like you want it to be fuller you can I wanted the 
not to be really flat so i kind of stayed away from crocheting at the knot itself so just around the body to give it a fuller look so yes this is basically the end of it so if you have any question just let me know in the comment section because this style was actually a really really fun one i was extremely happy because I kept looking through hashtags and I didn't have the money to pay for any class. So I was like, okay, let me do this. Let me experiment it and see. And honestly, it was extremely worth it. Like, as a hairdresser, this has been one of the things I love. Like, just looking at a style, figuring it out and getting something close to it, if not it exactly. So, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for staying so far. Bye.